Good morning, guys. Let's see data types in C++. In C++, as we know, data types are used to declare any variables. Here we are having three different categories of data types that is built-in, derived and user-defined. In this video, I will explain built-in. In next lecture or videos, we will explain derived and user-defined. Built-in type is further of three different categories, integral, floating point and valueless. Integral data types are used to store integer values. It is further of two types, char and int. Fine. Let's understand uh, data type, different data types with an example. We have a class bank. Fine. In this bank class, I have three variables in account number, float amount, char status. Fine. As we know, status of any bank account can be active or dormant. So we can write statement as status equals to active A in single quote. Fine. Now this care status, this variable is storing single character that is A. If you are having single uh, quotes, then it's a character. If you are having double quotes, then it's a string. Fine. Now it's a string. Now it's a character. Character takes one byte of memory and its range is minus 128 to 1 plus 127. Fine. Next we are having int. Int is basically stores integer values. For example, account number equals to 1, 2, 3, 4. We have, we have to store in teaser. Account number is always in teaser. So we can have account number equals to 1, 2, 3, 4. Fine. In teaser takes 2 bytes of memory. That means its range is minus 3, 2, 7, 6, 8, 2 plus 3, 2, 7, 6, 7. Fine. Uh, basically, there is one basic rule with in teaser data type. And that rule is in teaser will generally correspond to the natural size of a word on the host computer. That means if the host computer is of 16 bits, then our integer is also of 16 bits. If the host computer word size is 32 bits, then our integer becomes 4 bytes or 32 bits. So, there is little concept here with integer. Fine. Next, we are having floating point value. As we can see, if you want to store amount, amount can be amount equals to 10.29. Fine. 10.29. That means you have decimal values. So, decimal values you require floating point data types. Float takes 4 bytes of memory and its range is 3.4 e to 38 to 3.4 e plus 38. Fine. So floating point very, uh, data type is used to store floating point numbers. Care for single characters, integer for integer values, float for floating point value. The one is similar to float, but memory requirement is 8 bytes. Next point is, we have modifiers. What we have? We have modifiers. With integers and 
floating point values. For example, care, unsigned care. Unsigned care means now remove the negative part, only positive. So now the range memory requirement is same, one byte, one byte. But now the range is different. Range is positive only, 0 to 255. Similarly, we can have sign care as well, which will be minus 128 to plus 127. We can have long integer as we know it all it is of two bytes, but if you make long it, then it becomes four byte. Fine. So the memory requirement or byte size is increasing. So it has become four bytes. Similarly, range is also increased. Fine. We can have double long with double as well. And uh, we can have long double as well. Now the range, sorry, memory is 10 bytes. And the range is 3.4e to 49322, 1.1e plus 4932. Fine. Um, in uh, practical, for practicals, you are not supposed to remember range. But these are like general, so you will remember. But bytes is the thing which you should always remember because um, it will come in your interviews or in your exams. Fine. So we have sign, unsigned, and long. Or there is one more modifier that is short int. Short. Fine. So Sign, unsigned, uh, sign, unsigned, short, and long. Short in is also of two bytes. Fine. Next, we have third basic data type that is valueless. Valueless means void. Void data type is basically used at three different situations. It is used in three different situations. The one first situation is when function is returning nothing. Right? When function is returning nothing. Returns nothing. So what you write? You write void func and input arguments. Fine. Second time void is used when function is taking no input argument. Which means int func void. When we are having for void as a term type, <coughs> this means the function is returning nothing. When you have void as the input argument, that means this function is taking no input argument. Fine. The third point or the third use of void data type is to uh, create generic pointers. Fine. For example, void star generic pointer. Fine. Int integer pointer. GP equals to IP. Fine. So, as you can see, void GP is a generic pointer and can be made to it is a pointer. So in this video, we have understand uh, the idea of basic data types, three data types, integer, integral, floating point, and valueless. Integral is further of two types, that is integer and char. Float is floating point type is of uh, float and double. Valueless is of void. Thank you.